Hello everybody and welcome back to our Army Black Knights Dynasty. We are here for the first game of the season in our fifth year. And we're playing against the Oregon, Oregon State Beavers. So, to give a recap of what happened uh, after we ended up losing the national title last season. Uh, we ended up, uh, as you've seen, getting an invite from the Big East Conference. So now we are playing in the Big East. <clears throat> right. um, so we're playing in the Big East. And I had to manually put in our rivals because they weren't shown there anymore. So Air Force and Navy will stay on our schedule like they're supposed to be. Um, we are a four-star prestige now. So we did go up a star. First down 10 from the 25 for Oregon State. Um, we had 11 players uh, leave us after last season due to graduation. As you is going to pick up the first down on the run there. Um, we ended up uh, recruiting our very first uh, five star. Oh, Cody. Wow. He just ran 27 yards on us. That's not good. But, yeah, so we got our first five star, uh, Theo Crocker. He's a left outside linebacker playing for us here. We ended up recruiting a total of 20 players during the offseason. And four of them were five-star recruits. As Oregon State is creeping closer and closer to scoring on us. And then it's picked off by Blanks. Who? I'm not sure. I, I know he's a corner. I don't recall how long he's been here. Though. I don't remember. But he is one of our corners. Which we have a lot of still. And Crenshaw gets maybe a yard on that one. No, not doing that yet. Go wide receiver sweep. Try to get to the left side like like we like doing. And it is Berlin, which means Berlin is our slot this year. So it's third down and nine, and we're and that is caught by Berlin, who gets across the fifty. Um, we had the eighth best recruiting class. We were, yeah, we had. We, Recruited the eighth best, which means that we, yeah. So out of the, all hundred and like 
I think this game has 116 schools, 117 schools, something like that. I don't remember what the number is. We're eight. <laughs> so, a lot of good players recruited. And our strong safety, Ethan Patrick, ended up being our very first 90 overall uh, player. Third down and six. Um, we probably do need the. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's see what the wind's like, and I'll call a timeout and go for it if the wind's not in our favor. And the wind's not in our favor, it's pointing in our face. So, we will go for it. But yeah, Ethan Patrick, our first 90 overall. Um, as you seen when starting, uh, we are the 20th rank. That's where they had us for the preseason rankings. And we are predicted to finish 4th in the Big East for our first Big East. And Novak does make the catch. Novak, our very first four-star recruit. He is a senior this year. So, it'd be nice if we could have another good year for him. As and he, this time he drops it. We do a wide receiver screen. And he drops the ball. Second down and ten. And Berlin comes away with the catch on the deep pass. And Crutchell is going to get a couple yards on the run there. Try the wheel. There's about two minutes left. And it is caught by Berlin, who's going to get it in for the touchdown. A long touchdown catch for Berlin there. So, first down and 10 from the 20. There's a minute and 52 left until halftime. And the toss to the toward the sideline. As they were trying to get, I believe, McIntyre, who they've been targeting a lot in this game so far. Second down to ten. And it's deep, and it's caught by McIntyre. As they just constantly keep going, we just can't stop them from getting the ball to McIntyre. Just, just about every pass has been completed to McIntyre. They haven't thrown to too many other receivers. Second down and ten after the run went nowhere. And they're going back to pass. And they're going to the other sideline to Smith. And they get the first. They're just running these sidelines. They're, they're, they're throwing toward the sideline. And... It's working. We're having trouble stopping it. I'm gonna see if playing man will be better because we keep 
And right now they're just running. Oh, they called the dial now. I was gonna. Third down seven. Let's try and stop them here and hold them to a field goal. Receiver shifted to the left, and they're gonna go with the option to the right side and get stopped. And we're gonna call time out, which will leave us a little bit of time as they kick this field goal. Four, three, they're kicking a 42 yarder, it's up and it's good. So we're up 14 to 3, there's 37 seconds left. Do a quick uh, option here. And the kick, we use one of our timeouts. Oh, great. Oh, Neil's there. Well, we're going to do the wheel route. And here's Lester, who is now either a junior or a senior. I don't remember. Uh, he was our uh, third string quarterback last season. And he gets it in there to Berlin. No. We're gonna do the fake, the fake spike pass, and it's caught by Novak in the end zone. So we scored a quick touchdown right after giving up the field goal to Oregon State. So we're up 21 to three as we are dominating the beavers. Uh, yeah, right now everything is going good for us. Uh, it, they would keep, you know, throwing toward, uh, McIntyre. I mean, he is killing us. Except they're not, they need to throw it to him more. And they can get back in this against us. Uh, but yeah, we got to. We probably have this one. As long as we don't fall apart in the second half, we should win in this game. So we'll be back with the second. So we're back here with the second half. Crenshaw takes the handoff and gets up close to a first down. Take it down in inches. And Crenshaw uh, was supposed to, definitely was supposed to go straight up, but I just turned Crenshaw to the left where there was so much room. And we picked up like another seven or so yards, I think. They are not full. Not that time. There was nothing I could do about that. So we lost seven on a sack. And that was supposed to go to Reese. But overthrew him. They're down in 17. And that is intercepted. I should have aborted trying to get it to Crenshaw. So, yeah. Probably should have you know, settled. Maybe. Who knows? But we get Benson hit in the. Oh, we got to the line of scratch. 
body, he went backwards. So it's second down and ten uh, after that run went nowhere. They shifted and they're handing it off the bent pin. Third down and five. And that is dropped by a receiver. So we'll see what they are going to do. They are going for it. So we'll try and run man coverage here. And blitz them. Blitz and man. That's what. And it's picked off by Patrick! And Patrick is going to take it all the way for the touchdown! A pick six for our 90 over of player. First down and 10. And it's another pick for Patrick! Is he going to do it again? Yes! And back to back drives for the Beavers. Patrick just took it to the house for his second touchdown. Third down at three. On the 44. And the handoff goes to Hugh. And he does not make it. So we'll see you. And they're going to go for it. So fourth down and three. And of course, McIntyre makes the catch. And that's the one person we have not stopped in this game is McIntyre. Thankfully, we stopped the rest of the team because. If not, this game would probably be closer. But Benton's gonna get three yards. Just playing a lot of man. And they try to go to the sideline there. Probably to Smith. And we actually because we were in man we were able to hit him right away and he dropped the ball and that's caught by McIntyre as we can't seem to go man against McIntyre Uh, nope. No, it did not work. Holy. Had some success running the option when we were in the. Nope. Not there. Okay. So we got one play to see if we can get in the end zone. Okay, they got a goal. Okay, what are you doing, Novak? Oh, if, if Novak would have actually started moving a little sooner, I didn't want to throw the curl route that he was, that's why he was just standing there, or it was a screen. I didn't want to throw that. I was hoping he would get it upfield. So we'll kick the field goal here. And we're going to... My bad. Too busy talking. And... So we use a timeout as well. So 
mean, they had used one. But yeah, so, sorry about the phone earlier. Uh, and we do make the field goal, as I almost pushed it too far to the right. Okay, that is ball game. So we win the game 38 to 10. Patrick wins the game 12 to 10. So Patrick starts off this season very strong with two pick sixes. Um, we did throw a pick ourselves. But besides that, we played really good. Uh, we ran. Crenshaw had over 100 yards. We ran pretty well against Oregon State. So, that's going to do it. Final score again. 38 to 10. Everybody, have a good day. Bye.